Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm 50-something years old, and I live in Venice Beach, California. I am a video producer for um, stories on the internet. I stay in shape by dancing and bicycling, and I love photography, and I wrote a book entitled Hot Romantic Escapades for Lovers, 69 Fun and Daring Ways to Keep the Thrill Alive. Also, I'm going to school to get a degree in film. What happened to me? I was going through a rough patch in my life, and I lived in a, an apartment, a single apartment in West Hollywood, and um, would have nightmares. I'd wake up in a sweat, you know, of fear, and, but I knew that was a dream. But this paranormal experience, I knew, was not a dream. It was very, very physical. So I would be reading, sitting at the table, and uh, all of a sudden I would feel like a, like a caress on my hair. Like somebody was touching my hair. And, you know, it would be really slight, but very, very real. And so that happened to me like two or three times. At first I was startled, and then I thought, but didn't hurt or anything. It's kind of nice almost. And then one night I woke up in the mo in the middle of the night like 3 a.m. and um, I felt like there was a man spooning me. <laughs> you know, cuddling me from behind while I was sleeping. And it was really like a strong caress. And this happened like two two or three times as well. So I thought, wow, you know, I'm going, oh my God, that's like weird. But I thought, well, you know, maybe I have like a secret admirer ghost or something. <laughs> but it was really nice. I mean, I'm glad that this was not a scary paranormal experience. But then after that, it just stopped after a while. But I think it was almost as if the secret admirer ghost was, you know, helping me through the tough patch in my life. And later on, I talked to a psychic who told me that Oh yeah, those apartments are on top of an old Indian burial ground and I must that she thought I must have had good karma.